Thank you very much. Uh, very uh, good afternoon from Bangladesh. Next slide, please. So over uh, next uh, few minutes, actually, I like to briefly describe the things uh, done over last one year on behalf of the case management working group. Next, next slide, please. The final draft of the interim technical note on the treatment of cholera in pregnant women was completed. Thank you to the partners who contributed to this work. This topic remains a research priority for the group as many questions remain in this clinical area. It was important, however, to have one reference document synthesizing what we do know at this stage to help guide practitioners. Two successful virtual seminars were held. One was on 17th uh, September and the second one on, on uh, the 1st October of 2020. There was a good mix of participants from countries, implementing partners and research institutions. Decentralizing of care into the community was a major topic of discussion for the first seminar. And it was a good opportunity to share experience from the field, both from the country and partners' perspective. This will continue to be an important experience from the field, both from the, so, sorry, this will continue to be an important uh, topic over the next uh, years. How do we ensure that the fast cholera patients are detected and treated effectively? The second uh, seminar focused on research updates, there was again good participation. The topic ranged from very uh, clinical, the treatment of cholera in children with severe acute malnutrition, to a much broader topic of the role of the health uh, sector in activities that target the households and close neighbors of the cholera patients, including the potential role of biophages. Two groups are planning field evaluations on the topic which should significantly increase our knowledge on both the implementation and effectiveness of these activities. Although the discussion during the seminar focused on the health sector, the health aspects are only one part of this type of activity. And the discussion highlighted the importance of coordination across pillars of cholera control to ensure the most effective interventions. Uh, next slide, please. As for many other uh, others, the COVID-19 pandemic did have an important on priority work for the case management working group. For example, the working group had informed a small group to look into the role of community health workers in the treatment of cholera, but members of the group and contacts in the field were, were, uh, field were quickly absorbed by the COVID-19 uh, response. We hope to be able to have done this work next year. Although we have not done any formal survey of the impact of COVID-19 on research, we do not we do know we do know some uh, clinical research sites that are closed due to uh, COVID-19 pandemic. For example, enrollment in a clinical trial in Africa on rehabilitation of the children with severe acute malnutrition was halted. We hope it will uh, restart. Although the pandemic has negatively affected many activities, it is also creating opportunities. Almost other topics, significant work in going into strengthening infection prevention and control in healthcare structures and on improving hygiene practices that contribute to preventing both COVID-19 and cholera. We hope this work will be uh, sustained and there will be lessons to learn and build upon in the years ahead. Uh, next slide, please. During the years ahead, we hope to advance on research on specific clinical issues, including the treatment of children with severe acute malnutrition, partners from the Imperial College, KMD and ICDBRB are working in this field and update GTFCC. 
in addition to this specific clinical role, the working group will be looking to strengthen the role of the health sector in cholera control, both during outbreaks and during the periods between outbreaks. As mentioned earlier, during emergencies, research is planned to provide more evidence on the role of targeted uh, community activities during epidemics. There are field studies plan to look at the health sector role. But again, this is the focus. This is, of course, a multi-sectoral approach. And this work is cross-cutting, involving all pillars of cholera control, including looking at the role of the community itself. This work is being carried out by colleagues at John Hopkins University, the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, in partnership with humanitarian institutions and actors like Epicenters, MSF, Action, uh, SCF, and Solidarity International. Another priority uh, will be to re-engage on the work looking at how to integrate the treatment of cholera in community programs so that the index patient in the community are diagnosed and treated immediately. This work will be essential for countries as they develop and implement their national control. I look forward to working on this topic with all partners and uh, across sectors over the next. Next slide, please. So I like to thank uh, all the working group members, the partners, and GTFCC members. GTFCC, uh, thank you very much.